Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'd like to introduce you to the Fluke T5 1000 electrical tester, and then I'd like to compare the T5 1000 with the newer and more expensive Fluke T6 1000 electrical tester. The T5 1000 automatically measures to 1000 volts AC and volts DC. That is, the tester automatically selects AC or DC for you. It includes an easy and accurate current measurement using the open jaws. It's rated at category 3 to 1000 volts and it is rated at category 4 to 600 volts. It tests up to 100 amps AC through its open jaws. Okay, this is the T5 1000 and this is the T6 1000 and one of the big differences is that the T5 1000 measures up to 1K ohms. The T6 1000 measures up to 100K ohms. So this one measures up to 100 times more ohms. Now to measure ohms, you, you just turn it to ohms. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the detachable leads and I'm going to put on alligator clips. These are Fluke allig alligator clips. They just snap right on, really nice. And here's a resistor. I'm going to go ahead and put the resistor in right there and right here. And we got 219 ohms. See right there, 219 ohms. And you can press hold and that holds it right there. Um, okay, so I'm going to take, take these out and take the alligator clips off. Put the standard leads back on for the T5. Now for the T6, I'll go ahead and take the standard clips off, put the red alligator clip on the red and the black on the black. And here's my resistor. And here we go. 220 ohms. Okay, and this also has a hold right there. Boom. 220 or oh, 219. It says 219 ohms. One big advantage of the T6 1000 over the T5 1000 is that it'll test up to 200 amps AC as opposed to only 100 amps AC for the T5 1000. Now here I'm going to put my T6 1000 into my line splitter that's plugged into an outlet and right here I have a toaster oven plugged into the line splitter. So I'm going to take the T6 1000 put it right up to like this and it says 69.1 amps. Now this is a 10 times line splitter so you got to divide it by 10. So the toaster oven is now reading 6.889 amps and if you press hold uh, right there there's uh, 6.89 amps and notice it has a backlight there's another feature that the T5 1000 does not have it doesn't have a backlight it's extremely useful so there's uh, some things that are advantages for the T6 1000 now, I want to show you something else about the T5-1000. The, the T5-1000 has a smaller area for the wires to measure current. And I'm going to show you something that's very annoying about the T5-1000. It won't go into my line splitter. So I can't use my line splitter with this. Whereas with the T6-1000, there it is. It goes right into the line splitter. A big feature of the T6-1000 is that it has what Fluke calls field sense, while the T5 does not have this feature. Field sense detects an electrical field. Here you see the amperage and the voltage displayed at the same time on the same screen with no wires. One thing you're not supposed to do when you are using the field sense is you're not supposed to put your finger on the wire when you're using it. That will change your reading, so that's a good tip. Now. If you'd like to find the hertz, it press this button right here, and it says 60 hertz. The T5-1000 doesn't measure frequency. The T6-1000 is a true RMS meter, while the T5-1000 is not true RMS. Both have continuity beepers, auto off functions, both test to 1000 volts, and both have low battery indicators. Both have two-year warranties. Both come with slim reach detachable leads that will accept a large variety of ends. 
Both have built-in lead storage areas on the back, which includes the ability to hold the red lead out for easy testing. In conclusion, I think just about everyone will agree that the T6-1000 is the better meter of the two. The question is, is it $100 better than the T5-1000? Of course, each interested individual would have to decide that for themselves. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke T5-1000 and for the Fluke T6-1000. I'll also put links for the Fluke C-150Ks that is made to fit both meters and for the Fluke holster which also fits both meters. I'll put a link for the Fluke Deluxe Automotive Test Lead Set all of which fit on the T5 and T6. I'll also put links for the Fluke 117 Electrician's Meter, the Fluke 325 Clamp Meter, the Fluke Voltage Sensor, and the Fluke 289 True RMS Industrial Logging digital multimeter with trend capture. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.